Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Nick's Wildlife Adventures. Uh, so I'm on my two days rest today and tomorrow, and I'm back on nights, three nights. So I thought I'd come down to my local patch, a cold house fault. Go have a wander around. Uh, on the bird report a couple of days ago, someone spotted a flycatcher, spotted flycatcher. So I'm going to go to the area that that was spotted, that was spotted flycatcher. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna, that's, that's what I'm going to go first, and then from there, just have a local, just have a mooch around really, see what wildlife we can see. So it's a little bit breezy, so I'm hoping the kestrel might be up today, because they take advantage of the wind. So yeah, let's go have a walk around though, see what we can see. Cheers guys. Just having a little look around this creek. This is like salt water. There is signs of water on the other. I see a burrow just over there. There's another one there actually. So I've never actually seen water vole yet, but I know people that have got photos of them. And Ray tells me there's water holes here as well. So he's the warden. Yeah, it's really nice night. Just had some goldfinch go over. I've seen um, kingfishes along here as, as well in the past. I'm not actually sure what a flycatcher sounds like. I hear something calling over there, but I'm not sure what it is. Coming up to the area, spotted fly catcher was um, spotted. Is your radar tower? There's a lot of uh, coastal erosion going on. The radar tower is. Nice light though. I'm not sure what that bird is called in there. I listened to a spotted fly catcher in, in my car before I come out. I tried to uh, familiar mis that word myself with it. That did sound a little bit like a flycatcher. I think I might have heard pie flycatcher. <coughs> so I've come away from there now, but I'm going to go back in a bit. I just thought I'm going to walk along here first, along the river. Sometimes you get the wheat ears on these rocky outcrops along here. I'm not going to go so far. Let's go have a look around here, see if we can see the lady and birds or anything else. So yeah, this pathway takes you up to Tilbury eventually. Tilbury Fort. And where the old power station used to be. There's another walk you can do up there. Go for a kiss and go, it takes you along the edge of that sort of woody area all the way around and back to Cold House Fort. Let's go and check these rocks out, see if we can find them. Yeah, it's a nice morning for a walk, it's a bit of a breeze. It's quite pleasant to walk in, so that's nice. Dragon fly about as well. So 
tell you, this is known as the Buck Beach. Buck Beach. We used to fish this years ago. We've done a few local beach competitions as well. But most angles we ever got, oh, sugar, I even. Yeah, about 40 anglers once. One competition that we organised. And that's a little bit further down there though. There's not many wading birds out there to be honest. Oh, I've spent a good hour. <clears throat> See if I can spot the fly catcher. I think I heard it. I might have picked it up a little while ago while I was doing a bit of camera. I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head this way now, up to the seawall. See what you can see down there. Hoping to spot the kestrel. So, it's a bit breezy, so they take advantage when it's a bit breezy like this. They sort of head into the wind when they're hunting. So, yeah, let's go and have a look along. See wall, and also see what's on the screen. So I'm just around by the moat now. Get the old boys out with the model boats. And just there used to be the old boat, the old boathouse. We could hire rowing boats out. That was back when I was a kid. I only mentioned it because I saw a photo on a local group a few days ago. It actually got burnt down, if I remember rightly. Yeah, that was... It was in this area. When the pictures are black and white. So, that's how long ago it was. But I can vaguely remember it as a kid. Yeah, the old boathouse. Who else remembers that? Let us know in the comments below. So there's so much history around this area, it's unbelievable. I probably don't know half of it, to be honest. So yeah, I think the fault pre-dates First World War. Yeah, I think it actually does, yeah. So we used to go in there when we were kids, with my granddad, before it was taken over by the volunteers. Obviously now, it's not, it's been left to rack and ruin inside. Which is a shame. Oh yeah, if you, anybody on here is watching and you got any memories you'd like to share of the cold house fault and this local area, let me know in the comments below. I'll be quite interested to hear your comments. Especially if you grew up in East Tilbury or you live around East Tilbury or you moved there a few years ago and you've seen the different changes that's going on. Yeah, it'd be nice to hear from you. So just over here I've got adult and a juvenile goldfinch and they're feeding on teasel seeds. Got some shots with the light. I'm well shoot into the sun so I can't get any decent shots. Unless they move around onto these teasels. It's really bright light there in that area. Yeah, I've got some shots but they're not great, so and I say it's always worth checking out the top of the teasels, we should still be it's great to see the juvenile. So yeah, they don't really rule in this area this year, goldfinch. I've seen lots of goldfinch every time I come out. Yeah, I want you to start the sea wall. I've already seen these goldfinch. But... Let's see what else we can see. So I'm just up near the campsite now. Uh, 
see if I can get eyes on a Kestrel. It's a nice breeze. It's still warm though. It's just right actually for a walk, for a slow wander. So I think I've probably said in previous posts, when you're out and about in places like this and you've got fence posts, just keep an eye on the tops of the fence posts because you never know what you're going to see. I mean, Kestrel was like a fence post. An all different manner of bird life. Well, they sort of use them as an advantage point to look around for prey and stuff. Especially kestrels. If you watch kestrels when they hunt and they catch something, they more or less land on a. It could be a. I mean, I've had them land on a seawall before with prey, but they do favour posts as well. I've noticed these kestrels that I've been watching down here. They like certain posts, but they like park benches as well. Over here, there's a few benches scattered about around the, the campsite, which they like as well. Not always the same one, that's not going to happen every time, but yeah, like I say, it's always worth checking out the fence posts because you never know what you're going to see. Like, I'm hoping I'm going to see the kestrel. I don't think they're going to be quite a focus. I haven't looked at them. If they're right off, so I'll stick it off his look at them. Here's quite a few. So I haven't seen any like this before. But yeah, some of them are juvenile and some of them are adults as well. Which is nice to see. They're a communal bird as well, so you always get them in. Um, what's the word? Not packs, is it? Just walks. Yeah, yeah, the communal bird, so that means you, you'll get a group together and they move around together as well. Yeah, it's nice to see. I'll try and get some more shots for you. Alright, so I'm just sitting down by the scrape now. So where I'm sitting, this is about as close as you can get to the scrape. It's still absolutely full of grey leg and candy geese. I've seen a couple of lapwing. Uh, where else is there? Got the egrets. There's a few guy, uh, gull, guys, guys flying over. Apart from that, can't see much else. I've seen a rebug here. And they're really they're calling as well, guys. And everyone. Oh, yeah, it's gonna sit here for a bit. See what happens. Just chill out for a bit, I think. Enjoy it. So, it's a nice breeze. Same was just, just right, actually. So, yeah, I've got some more shots of the long tail tips as well to look at. That's all good. Oh, yeah, let's just sit here and see what comes by. I don't know if I can pick those up a little bit too far away. Black tug off, but it's all the way along the mat, mud flats. All as far as the eye can see. There's a few candy geese out there as well. 
and grey leg. Wind's got up. It's still quite warm. Yeah, along the flood side line, it's just a line of birds. Canada Gase, Black Tail Cockpit, Oyster Catchers. There's lots of ever sets as well. So the tide's on its way in now, it's just starting to flood. So that's going to push stuff over. Push some bad stuff over. Just up there. I've managed to get some flight shots. We're doing a bit of a flight shot. A few flight shots in different species. Oh, they're even on the, on the rocks. You might see it on the phone. I don't know if they're goals or something else. Well, I think you can't get that close. You've got these uh, salt plans across there. Oh, I don't have a seat going up. Loads of Avocet. Big group just gone up and they're flying this way. I'm going to get around this, this side of the sea wall. So close I can get, so I can get you some shots to show you. I just want to do it justice on my phone. Grey legs, Canada geese, black tail gobwit. That's all down there. As soon as I got to this point, they all scattered. <laughs> I've come down right down here under the sea wall now. This is where I saw the um what was it? I what it's called now. Wheat here. And a pair of wheat here. That was five days ago. So, you never know. Might still be around. Oh, look, there's some more good wheat going up there. So, yeah, the tide's pushing them all over now. And most of these birds are going to end up on the scrape. But it's like they're cleared over. So, back to a uh, Sort out my eyes so a little bit, but when the sun comes out, I'm drop it down again. So I've got a bit of a nightmare with my camera sometimes. Sometimes you forget to set the settings accordingly. So when the light drops, I have to sort out my ISO settings. Get more light into the camera. When it's sunny like this, I drop it down again. So yeah, that's only down for about having a completely manual camera rather than auto. It hasn't got auto ISO settings or anything, shutter speed. You have to do it all yourself. So that sounds like the shots come out a bit dark. That you just light them up. If you're on that too bad, I'll just light them up. I'm on that tip a little bit. Bit of cropping. That's about it really. Because I've got my 1.4 converter on, so I can only get f.8. Take it off it's f5.6. But I do like getting closer up shots and stuff, so yeah, there's all the on the tide line now. You can see all the birds. Absolutely thousands of birds. Black tide goblets, Avocet, Grey Lag, Canada Geese, a few curlew on there as well. I heard heard some curlew. Oh yeah. I'm going to go sit up on the wall for a bit now. 
Yeah, the tyres. I think it's a six six point four metre tyre today. So it's gonna come up quite far. Look, it's already on a flood. I tied them to about three and five to three. Uh, if I'm lucky, I might even get a few, um, what are they called? Common, I forgot what they're called now. I'll think of it later. <laughs> common turns, that's it, common turns. They're quite often coming quite close to me. Hunt along here. So yeah, I'm gonna go up and shut the seawall for a bit. See what comes along. I haven't seen any birds of prey today, which is unusual. I thought the old kizzies would have been about. Not even a marsh area yet. Still got time though. So I'm back at this right now. Just looked across and all the black toe bog weeds been up at the same time. I've got some shots. I don't know if it's a bird of prey, but it's all black wings that went up as well. Wow, that was absolutely amazing to see that. I can't see any birds of prey, but I can see any. See, it's been down in the swamp here. Yeah, everything went up at the same time apart from the geese. So they could in there. That normally indicates there's a bird of prey about it. I hope shots come out alright, I'm looking at That's it, back at McCall now. Uh, it's been a good day. Oh, it normally is down, down the scrape in cold asphalt. Uh, seen plenty of birds, hiding birds. Didn't see any birds of prey, unfortunately. Thought I might have seen a kestrel, but I hung around for a bit. We're in the areas that I know the kestrels normally hunt, but didn't get any luck. So. There's always another day though. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some pictures up. I didn't get any footage today, not on the other camera anyway. I've got a bit of footage on my phone that I'll put up. Oh uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. I'd like to get a few more followers if I can. Um, and thanks for your comments and your likes. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.